Well, good evening. <clears throat> Here is what we'll be testing in today's video. Uh, you can see this is a different type of 9mm jacketed hollow point. I've got the Koenig Defense and Koenig uh, Competition. I'll be testing the Competition um, a 9mm 110 grain in this video. Um, I've got them slayed out here side by side for you to see here. Uh, the projectiles, there's not, to me, does not look like there's a lot of difference in them. Um, in the actual hollow points themselves. I'll set them up here side by side. You can take a look. But they don't really look much different. They might be the same projectiles. Uh, the only difference I could find online was that the... Uh, Defense is rated at 1250 feet per second and the competition is 1150 and they're not uh, Didn't list the barrel length used in that test um, And the uh, head stamps here are different on here um, This one's got an R RML or RMI head stamp and This one is a uh, just a, a Luger with some stars. So the different brass is used. Um, and one's obviously a little, a little hotter than other. Both, these are both standard pressure. Um, but the reason for this test was that I looked online before buying this ammo. And I, I couldn't find any information for it. Um, I am a uh, big fan of, of trying to find inexpensive ammo. And testing out different ammo. Um, there's a lot of good sites out there already for ammo test information um, for instance um, here are some of the ones that I look at quite a lot um, where they do different um, ammo testing um, and online there's been a couple of good um, testing result pages um, you can see there luckygunner.com ammunition to go.com uh, they've done some extensive testing of 9mm and other caliber ammo um, and, and it's very good information that's already out there. This is just hopefully going to contribute to that. Um, also I'd like to, uh, provide more information regarding where I found it and, uh, also kind of what the cost is. Um, uh, so right now the only place that I've found online where you can get this particular ammo that's currently available is here. It's at, uh, opticsplanet.com, um, for the competition. It's $19.99 for a box of 50 and for the defense, it's $9.99 for a box of $20. Um, so it makes, the, it makes it roughly $0.50 cents a round for the defense and $0.40 cents a round for the competition. Um, and that is, and they have, that website has free shipping on $49 purchases or, or more. So for me here in my state, um, the only cost in addition to the, to the ammo would have been with his tax so for the competition rounds um, here is what it cost me per round and that is uh, the total cost so just over 42 cents a round for the competition so my question for the video was does this ammo make good self-defense ammo uh, just the competition kind um, and you will see shortly after this, you'll see I was at the range. Uh, I tested in water jugs. Um, and you'll get a quick snippet uh, before I took the, uh, before I completed the test. Uh, I used two layers of cotton t-shirt material and covered that with a fleece lined jacket material. Um, and then shot through uh, water jugs. So you'll get to see that test set up um, and then the results after that. So, um enjoy and again uh, uh as of earlier today uh these both these uh ammo types were still available at opticsplanic.com um and again i am not affiliated one way or the other nor do i recommend one way or the other um, um but this is just for informational purposes only so um take a look and uh comment below and uh thanks for watching all right second test of the day in march 2023 uh, we're testing koenig nine millimeter this is the competition 110 grain 
jacketed hollow point. This is not the self-defense round. So this one's firing, I believe, a similar 110 grain jacketed hollow point as the self-defense round. But it's loaded for slower speeds. I've already taken the shot. Again, I used two layers of cotton t-shirts and a fleece-lined winter jacket material. Um, shot it into five water gallons here. The first two pretty well shot up. Pretty good, pretty decent damage. Went through number three, and it's actually stopped here in the fourth jug. So, again, pretty good penetration getting into the fourth jug. Um, it's probably 12 to 16 inches of equivalent to ballistic gel penetration. And we'll see if it actually, and we have expansion, which is good. And again, this is just like the first one of today. This was out of the 3.1 inch barrel Sky DVG-1. And here is the result. And that's not actually bad, considering uh, this is considered the, the competition, not self-defense round. So again, here is what we started with. And I don't have my calipers with me. I can test how I'll measure this when I get back home. But there is the result from that to that. So again, not bad. Looks a little bit like a XTP round. Not huge expansion, but if you're getting into the fourth water jug and expanding, that's a lot better than just an FMJ. So, this one is probably going to warrant some additional testing um, uh, for cycling purposes, and I'll probably eventually get some gel to test um, this or mix up some gel. Uh, again, I am back now from the range here. Um, this is the final re review or initial review from the Koenig. Um, 110 grain, 9mm. This is the competition Koenig, not the self-defense rounds, but they're competition rounds. This was the one I captured. Again, this went through um, two layers of t-shirt and over the top of that a fleece-lined uh, winter jacket material um, to simulate cold or cool weather clothing. Um, so we, we did have expansion. It was caught in the fourth water jug. Um, normally, um, from what I've seen testing online, water jugs are normally approximately equivalent to four inches of ballistic gel. So if it was caught in the fourth, um, that's somewhere between 12 and 16 inches of penetration, um, which is ideal. Um, so that's, um, that's a good thing. And again, this was out of a 3.1 inch Sky DV1, DVG1 barrel. Um, at about 15 feet, um, and this is a light four weight, uh, a light four um, caliber uh, projectile at 110 grains. Uh, recoil was nominal, um, but then we're going to see if I can uh, measure this out here now uh, with the uh, calipers here that I have. Okay, well I had to change the batteries in the calipers. Um, and after doing that, here is the high measurement, 0.48. Um, it was also 0.47. And then the other, just, uh, it was point, roughly 0 0.47, 0 0.48. And the narrow one, there was one, looks like one pedal might have broken off. 0.43 here on this one. Um, so that was the expansion, 0.48 at the widest. Um, so fair expansion. Again, as I said at the range, it, to me it gave the impression of a XCP type uh, projectile regarding the expansion and just kind of the look of it. Um, we can actually weigh it to see about retained weight here. 
let's see what we got here for retained weight. We'll, we'll see if I can change it to grains. Here we go. So we'll see what the retained weight is here. 110 grains. So it's 110. Um, looks like it's say it retained 100% there. Um, uh, that's that's impressive, uh, actually. So again, uh, fourth fourth uh, jug of water through a fairly heavy clothing barrier out of a subcompact 3.1 inch barrel. 100% weight retention at 110 grains. Uh, max expansion, about 0.48 inches. Uh, average was probably 0.4 seven um, um several of the directions it was measured out to so um yeah uh for a, a low cost or a budget option um that's not even the self-defense line that they carry um I'm, I'm actually impressed um we'll test it more and we'll see uh how it does i'll i'll try to pick up some more and uh, uh i also did cycle through uh, several magazines worth while we were out there um, The only problem I had was uh, a couple of hard primers um, Where I had to strike them twice uh, They did go off every round did go off, but there were I think two rounds that were hard primers so uh, I might just be light primer strikes with my sky. It's a new gun uh, I've only shot in a couple hundred rounds through it. So a various nine millimeter so could be that, uh, but um, I'm, I'm actually pretty pleased with this off this first test, and uh, we will continue to test it, and uh, um, hopefully next I'll mix up some gel, and we'll uh, start doing some ballistic gel testing, um, and uh, we'll we'll try to make the process a little more consistent, and that way I can compare more types of rounds and different. Um, barrel lengths, etc. And uh, we'll go from there. So, um, thanks.